What's going on, YouTube family? Welcome back to rebirthedu.com. I'm your host, Kendrick, aka also the great. Back again with the next installment. I'm walking around right now. Next installment of the seven habits of highly effective people. And this habit here is called Think Win Win. Y'all gotta forgive me for walking around. We out here, we got the new place kind of working on. We still got boxes. Just got in here. <clears throat> I'm trying to set some things up. I'm out here sweating. Dog walking around, getting on my nerves. Daughter over here. Been working. She been trying to she been trying to straighten up this closet for eight hours. No, I haven't. It's been like 12 minutes. Eight hours. 36 hours trying to fix a closet. So, anyway, so think win-win. So, let's, let's dive into that. What does that mean? Right? But before we do, as always, hit like, hit subscribe. All that jazz for the YouTube algorithm. Help me out. really helps out the channel. And spread some love, right? And it don't cost you nothing. It's free. What is that? Should I keep that? I don't know. That kind of came with the house, man. You know, they left us some stuff when we bought the house. So that was that was cool. That was very nice of them. All right. So, <clears throat> so think win-win. Well, there's different there's different kinds of of these scenarios. You know, you got win-win. You got lose-lose. You got Win loss, you got lose win, you got win win no deal, right? And then sometimes you just got plain old flat win with nothing else. So let's let's go through them, right? So a win win is a scenario where uh, you win and the other person win. This is really based on an interdependent relationship, and if you approach things um, in that manner. Everybody leaves the deal happy, right? So you're coming with a uh, with a mentality that, hey, I'm going to get what I want out of this. You're going to get what you want out of this. We're going to compromise. We're going to make this happen, okay? That's, that's a great one, right? Then we got lose-win. Well, these kind of people that have the lose-win mentality are usually your doormats, right? Oh, well... You know, I, I want uh, I want this person to win, so I'm I'm sacrificing everything that I want out of this deal, and I want out of this relationship, uh, so that this other person can be happy. And you got to be really careful with this because these are the type of people that hold a lot of animosity, or they uh, they harbor a lot of feelings that they can't necessarily get out or express. And this is the guy that come to your job and shoot up everybody. Because he's been living this kind of lose-win mentality lifestyle, right? <clears throat> so then you got the win-loss mentality. These are the people that win. They they look to win at somebody else's expense, right? And that's not always positive. Now, there's situations where this does make sense. Like, let's say, sporting events. Somebody got to win. Somebody got to lose, Right? That's sports. So there's nothing wrong with that mentality there. That's part of the that's part of the game, right? But if you're malicious and you're out here, you're out here stepping on top of people to get where you gotta go, that's not really where you wanna be because you're not really being a man or a woman of integrity. And that's not who we are, right? We're trying to be fantastic people out here, bring value to everybody. And get the things that we want out of life too, right? Excuse me, man. I'm thirsty, man. I've been out here all day. I've been working all day. Probably going to be working all night. Here's what it is, right? All right, so then you got the lose-lose. So this happens when you have, let's say some people are going through a divorce or something like that, right? <clears throat> well, you know, the guy may not... He may not want to give up uh, anything. He may be like, ah, man, you know, oh, okay, we supposed to split the assets. Tell you what I'll do. Okay. Oh, we supposed to split this car. I'm going to sell this car for $50. And then 
she only get 25. And he doing that out of spite and hate. So this this kind of mentality, the lose-lose mentality, is really that's really what it's based on. It's really based on, you know, uh, resentment, anger, hatred, all those negative feelings that don't really help anybody, right? So then you got the just win guy. So this is the guy, the only he's he's only concerned about just winning, getting the results, and <clears throat> he's not really concerned about whether somebody else does good or does bad. Doesn't really make a difference to him. He's very indifferent about it anyway. So all he's concerned about is what he's got to do. He's got a tunnel vision. He's not really concerned about anybody else. It's a bit of a lone wolf mentality, but that's what he, hey, he's the DJ Khaled, man. All I do is win, right? Shout out to Khaled. Khaled is actually a win-win mentality kind of guy because he want to see you do good too. Big ups to Khaled. So with all of these different scenarios, well, which one which one is the one you want to be, right? Well, it's complicated. The action, the answer is actually it depends. It de depend. It depends on the scenario, right? Uh, let's say, for instance, win lose. Well, like I said, it's a sporting event. Hey, man, you got to win, and that means they got to lose. It is what it is, right? Uh, what about a lose win? Well, it depends on the relationship. Like what kind of relationship you have with your kids. Sometimes it's good to help build somebody's confidence by letting them get a win right maybe something with your kids or something like that you guys are playing the game you don't want to sit up there and just destroy your kids confidence or something like that you want to give them a little bit of confidence still be competitive but let them win one let them let them beat you at checkers every now and then or let them uh you know let them score a basket on you man let them get that win help build his confidence so it's nothing wrong with losing um in certain scenarios like that now, the lose-lose scenario, to be honest with you, man, I really can't think of a good scenario where that's okay, right? Um, it's just not really a way you want to move, man, because then nobody wins. And that's you don't ever really want to be on that kind of a losing end, right? So the just-win guy, you know, you might be focused on a lot of things, but you might be leaving a lot of people left behind. But now that doesn't necessarily mean that that's a bad thing. Sometimes when you're in a competitive position um, where it's a lot of people and you guys are trying to compete, you got to stay focused and you got to have that drive so that way it can get you over the top, right? So there's nothing wrong with that. Now, I personally think the best is the win-win mentality, right? Why is that? Because that helps build relationships, helps build your network, and helps you propel yourself forward. Okay. Being a lone wolf is really hard out here. Okay. I don't really recommend that for anybody, guys. You need people. Okay. Don't ever think you don't just need people. And you need relationships. And you want to build bridges instead of burning them, right? If you're in this, if you rocking with me because you want to learn a little bit more about money, well, I'm gonna tell you this, man. This win-win is where it's at. The more positive relationships you build with people, the better off you are going to be, right? And that's why this is habit number five, I think it is. Yeah, that's why this is that habit because, or it might be four. Man, I don't know. I can't remember. This is why this was so important because the most effective people think win-win. They're always trying to add value and then in return, they get value back, okay? That's kind of how that process works, man. If you approach it with the I want to add value to somebody mentality first, I promise you, man, you're going to have a lot more win-win situations. And you're going to have a lot more positive outlook on life. This is where it's at, right? All right, so that's it for this video. I got to get back to work. I'm going to start working on this studio, getting this office right. You know, let me show you that real quick, man. Since we chilling, since we chilling, we vibing for a second, right? I'm gonna show you all what's up with that. It ain't much right now, but we are gonna get it right. Let's see what we got in here, man. Let's see. So, you know, we got the desk. I, everything's just junky right now. Got the desk in there. It's just a room. 
You know what I'm saying? It's just a room. I'm always writing stuff down. It's just a little room. We're going to get a vibe going on, man. We're going to get a vibe up in here, man. What y'all think? Nautical? Well, actually, it really don't even matter what you think, because that's where I'm going with it. I love the ocean, so... I want my little haven to be like I'm in the ocean, man. Like I'm in a yacht. Look at that. Still got boxes everywhere. Still got a lot going on. So appreciate y'all rocking with me. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.